Hey guys, Gian here of GadgetPilipinas.net and uh, today we are visited by one of our friends in uh, the tech industry representing Asus brand. Of course, we have uh, Mark Olmedo, sir. Hi guys, uh, hi, I'm Mark. I'm the technical PR specialist for Asus Philippines. Asus Philippines. And of course, syempre, nasa kabila ko rin naman. Ang walang iba kundi ang kilig ng tagig. Mr. <laughs> Mr. M and Tortosa. What is up, guys? Long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. Okay, and uh, today, uh, well, we're going to be discussing uh, something that is, kumbaga, parang ngayon pinag-usapan ng mga tao, which is the mesh system. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, there, you guys have a product for that, mm-hmm. and uh, you will be telling us about it, mm-hmm. right? So yeah. you have, we have right here the AI, uh, the Asus Blue Cave. Uh, Blue Cave, yeah. no? Blue Cave AC2600. Right? Yeah. So, uh, of course, uh, syempre, since uh, we haven't actually even unboxed this, we will be showing what you can find inside the box. Yeah. And then also, after that, we will be discussing about uh, how it looks, how it differs from yes. the uh, regular traditional, routers, traditional yeah. router yeah. Yeah. and the benefits of AI. Yes. Uh, Eman, how about you? Before, but have you considered getting uh, an AI mesh for mm. your uh, home internet connection? Well, since... Uh, hindi naman ganun karaka yung place namin before mm-hmm. uh, before ah before, before pero ngayon yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> money uh, <laughs> so I did it so I really didn't and yeah. hindi naman din kasi ganun kabilis yung <clears throat> connection ko before so right, right. so there was me and wala naman masyadong gumagamit basically ako lang eh so oh. yeah. but uh, I've been reading a lot about these uh, mesh uh, systems actually mm-hmm. from, even from other uh, other brands. Na, there are other. There are so many brands coming out with, with mesh, mesh, mesh. mesh systems, and each of them, na you know, I guess yeah. uh, benefits probably. And, benefits. Yeah. and uh, so it's really gonna be interesting to know uh, how this one's gonna be different from mm. from the others, and basically what would be the uh, edge, edge. Itong, itong product na to apart uh, against its competitors. Competitor. Yeah. Let me just get this. Uh, mm. So uh, it's it co- it's called Blue Cave. Before we even unbox this, why is it even called Blue Cave? Uh, well, from the design itself, there it does look like a cave, and it's oh, blue. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, that makes the sense. whole ins- uh, so ins- it's a literal, uh, inside. Yeah. It's a literal. It's a literal blue. Cave. Yeah, blue cave. Okay. And please do not mistake it as a humidifier. <laughs> okay. It does look like one, but it's not a humidifier. Yeah, it's a router. I think it looks like it's, it but looks it's more like a speaker actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> kasi, yeah we, we, we at Asus, kasi, we don't just release products. Okay, we already have this finished product here. Mm-hmm. We put effort and time, time and effort on the design of the mm. product. Right. And we want to make it look nice and at the mm. same time perform good. So as you could see, if you guys already saw the Blue Cave online, mm-hmm. um, it doesn't have any protruding antennas. Antennas. I think, uh, well, I owe myself, uh, I, I reviewed the Rapture before. Yeah, yeah. And the lower variant from Asus, mm-hmm. naman, which I'm using right now. Mm-hmm. Parang gagam ba yun? Yeah. <laughs> My head crab shit. Head crab. <laughs> parang gagam ba. But this time, it, it's... It's showcasing a different look. A no? humidifier. It's, it's like a humidifier. <laughs> Hindi siya pangit tingnan pagkatabi siya ng humidifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it kind of looks like one, but it's not a yeah. humidifier. But, you know, humidifiers are not bad. Yeah. They don't look bad after yeah. all. So, let's go ahead and check it out. What's yeah. inside the box, sir? Yeah, uh, that's so, all right. Let's this is open it. basically what's inside the box. the box. So, of course, you have this... Warranty notice. VIP warranty. member. And okay. another neat thing about our high-end routers mm-hmm. is that we have this one. It's what a, is that? It's um, not just a card. So this is your free antivirus protection for oh, four devices. But this is too. for Blue Cave. Okay. Um, some of our high-end, higher-end routers uh, on the market features AI protection. So basically, mm-hmm. you already have uh, an internet antivirus inside Ooh. your um, router. Right. So you have the intrusion intrusion prevention system built inside the router, especially say right. the ROG Rapture. But this one, however, um, binibigyan ka ng antivirus for four devices naman. So it's called the AI protection. AI protection, okay. yes. And uh, you can see that there, there's, there are QR codes here. Mm-hmm. Oh, so these QR codes give you activation cards. Yes. Pretty cool. And it also says here that you are a VIP member. Oh, yes. VIP member. That's that's how we value our... Yeah. Right. And uh, well, uh, we're a testament to that because we've been using uh, Asus products. Right. 
All right. So okay. let's move on to the actual product, guys. Ooh, nice. okay. The humidifier. The humidifier. Just kidding. Okay. The speaker. <laughs> this is the Asus Blue Cave AC2600. Yeah, it really looks like a speaker. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like one guy. And um, I don't know, um, to me, because if uh, in terms of looks, if if you are of a uh, minimalist guy or girl, mm. uh, this this one will suit you. Yeah, Kasi, yeah. If, yeah. If, if you put it on your desk, say yes. a wooden desk like this one that mm, we have in front, white. sobrang ganda yung tignan. <laughs> Yes, I can imagine. Right, right. Then any mga minimalist uh, guys, minimalist setup. Yeah. yeah. I, I will, diba? You, yeah. yeah. Tapos na yung bahay nyo. Yeah. Oh, so and, uh, uh, you have a, to do that. You have a peg. No, ito pa. I'm gonna show you a peg of uh, Eman's desk. No, yun yung gusto niya makita. <laughs> yun yung gusto niya desk now. So, yeah. what else? Uh, before we uh, focus on the. Uh, the key. Yeah, what else can you find inside? And of course, we have the power cords. Yes. You have an Ethernet cable. Mm -hmm. It's short. And we also have different plugs. Uh, oh. I mean, if you're going to bring this, say, to Euro uh, nice. Europe Very or nice. say okay. the US, uh, we have different plugs for it. Mm -hmm. And. Um, what else is inside here? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, that's, that's it. Pretty much everything. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much everything you can find inside the box. So you have all the sockets, no, and mm. also the adapter. Yeah. So if ever you're traveling, if you want to bring this with you, yeah. everything is also inside for you to be able to power up this yeah. baby up. Okay, so let's uh, talk about uh, the everything here. We I, I can see here that there are four Ethernet ports yeah. and another port for where the source of the internet will the be one, coming from. One okay. port, yes. The one port and uh, WPS. You want to set it up very quickly. Uh, there's also a WPS button mm -hmm. right there. How many, um, how many ports are there? Uh, there are four Ethernet ports. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're going to notice, it mm -hmm. also has a USB 3.0 port. Mm -hmm. We have the feature on the router kasi, wherein you could download stuff over from the internet. Internet, okay. Yeah, so I mean, if you're using, say, torrent sites, Okay. okay. We're not encouraging anything here, guys. Right. <laughs> okay. Torrent sites were yeah. the, the legal yeah. ones. Lots yeah. of legal like, ones like, you can mm, download. Linux, Linux um, mm -hmm. OSS. You OSS? can download that from torrent sites. Um, instead of using a computer uh, for downloading your torrents, you could use our router to, to download directly onto, say, a flash flash drive. Ah, flash, flash drive okay. or, say, uh, an external hard drive. Mm. Okay. okay. So and another neat thing. Mm -hmm. But wait, there's more. Wait, there's <laughs> more. Uh, you could use this USB port for um, 3G or 4G Wi-Fi dongles. Oh. So just in case that your your uh, internet connection goes gets down. Uh, gets lost or goes yeah. down. So 3G or 4G. So yeah. oh, that's nice. Because maraming yon like uh, you know from uh, different telcos and mm. smart. They also have that kind of uh, device or dongle. You can just put it there. So yeah. instead of using the one. Mm -hmm. One will be coming from the the, the dongle. No? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically, nice. the dongle will provide that the internet really connection nice. and ah, the router yung mababa. Very nice. Mabilis na kasi ngayon yung mga LTE, yeah, uh, yeah. up to 42 oh, Mbps. Yeah. Yes. It improved a lot. It improved right, a lot. Right, right. Okay, so, okay. Tell me, sir. As a consumer, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a gamer, I, I create content, mm -hmm. no? uh, we, have, we hold a small office here. Mm -hmm. uh, why would I need this? The blue cave. The blue, the blue cave. Mm -hmm. Would it be able to, you know, suit my needs? Uh, or well, I mean, if you're gonna go for the blue cave, of course, not first priority would mm -hmm. be having a capable internet connection. Yes. Capable. Because right. I mean, if you have say uh, 50 Mbps connection, uh, we recently had this talk as I said before, mm -hmm. uh, wherein um, people forego going for a more say capable router, and they're gonna settle for say the router that their ISP provided. Right. And usually right. those routers are really limited in terms of their performance. Mm -hmm. So nang ayaring say uh, you are a gamer uh, and then you use your crummy na router for your ISP what happens is that there is a bottleneck so kunyari, uh, so limited sobra yung yeah. kumbaga, throughput that it yes. can give exactly exactly yeah. and so for example uh, GN is streaming Eman is streaming playing PUBG mangyayari ngayon uh, pag sabay-sabay na kaming gumamit the router gets confused. Kanin ba ang babato ng signal? Yeah. yeah. So what will happen is that one of us will experience um, lagging, mm -hmm. especially me. If I play games, I've experienced it sa bahay. 
um, maglalag siya. My game will lag dahil sabay-sabay na silang gumamit. So you will have latency issues? Yes, no? if, if you have a cro- uh, crappy, sorry for the word, that's crappy true, router. Yeah. Uh, then uh, that's where the Asus Blue Cave comes in. So since uh, this is Wi-Fi AC, it's dual band. So you have Wi-Fi N and the Wi-Fi AC. So you have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi mm-hmm. band and 5 gigahertz band. So the 2.4 giga- gigahertz band, um, ang ideal setup kasi is 2.4. Uh, you will connect your phones mm-hmm. doon and oh. say any streaming tablets. Yeah. And of course, 5 gigahertz is for say 4K TVs, 4K TVs oh. and yeah. your gaming laptops yeah. and consoles. Consoles. Yes. So yung thorough put niya is malaki yung mababato niya compared to Wi-Fi. To and, Wi-Fi, and, I see. Yeah. So, well, just in case you guys have uh, dual band routers, it is a good tip uh, coming yes. from Mark here. Uh, cell phones, um, you know, tablets, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, for 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. Uh, but for your consoles, your play, uh, your Desktop PCs that you use for playing games, you laptop fire. PCs. Uh, you know, you go fiber, you go direct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 for Ethernet ports in the back. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got everything now. So that means if you if your provider provides you with a router yes. for the fiber, mm-hmm. and then from there you connect that router to the Blue Cave, yes. and then this one will manage everything on its own, right? Yes, so yes, right. yes. Okay, so we have here the Blue Cave, and one of the features of the Blue Cave is, of course, AI Mesh. And mm. uh, ito yung talk of the town ngayon. Mm. A lot of brands have been introducing Mesh products lately, and uh, it is interesting that uh, when I reviewed the Rapture before, mm. saktong-sakto because they rolled out an update that makes it compatible with the with the mesh system yes. that uh, Asus Republic of Gamers and Asus put up recently mm-hmm. no now for AI mesh uh, for those viewers na gusto nilang malaman what the heck is AI mesh why would i need it mm-hmm. why you know, why are you guys you know introducing AI mesh to mm-hmm. everyone all right so basically i say uh these two gentlemen said earlier mm-hmm. there are a lot of brands nowadays that are releasing their mesh systems mm-hmm. so let me just do a comparison lang then. Okay. so with their mesh system you buy one pack so uh, mm-hmm. usually it's like three in a three pack pieces, yeah. uh, and uh, once you set it up kasi, uh, you're limited to what the nodes can do or what mm-hmm. the mesh system can do okay. whereas our AI mesh system kasi, um, the features of the router will be transferred down to any nodes that would be connected to it, mm, so right. you're you're getting or you're using an actual router as a node. Yes. So, um, for example, say you, you get the ROG Rapture um, uh, rap, Rapture na, na router, right. mm-hmm. then you use that as your main node or say a secondary node. Right. So number one is yung bato ng Wi-Fi because you have eight antennas. Or let's say I let's see. let's go down a bit. Let's go for the AC sixty eight U. Okay. So that would be a 2013 router. Oh. So that was our flagship router. That's 2013, but that is AI mesh compatible. AI mesh compatible. So you just need to download the firmware for it. Bam. Yeah. AI mesh. Oh, okay. And it nice. has three antennas. So malakas ang bato niya compared to a small circular node. Or let's say a bigger circular circular node. Yeah. So yung number one is yung bato ng Wi-Fi kasi talaga. Right. Number two is yung Wi-Fi cap- or sorry router capabilities is hindi ka limited to what the node can do. So for example, if you have the ROG Rapture router, you have the Game Boost feature. So uh, counting background lang on what the Game Boost feature is, uh, it's a feature uh, inherent to our gaming routers wherein once you turn it on, any gaming packets will be prioritized mm. over any other packets. So yes. for example, I'm uh, playing a game, I experienced a bit of lag, and hindi ko napansin is, naka-off pa yung Game Boost ko. Uh-oh. So once you turn on the Game Boost feature, Automatic yun. It will be implemented. You're going to see that you do not have any latency issues. So, dramatic yun change. Dramatic yun change. Okay. So, mm. for example, the Blue Cave. So, the Blue Cave kasi, it's, it's a router, but it doesn't have that gaming feature, the Game Boost feature. Mm. So, once you apply uh, AI Mesh on this one and you have the gaming router, automatic siya. Pag nag-on ka ng Game Boost and you connect on this Blue Cave that doesn't have Game Boost, automatic siyang magfa-flow through the blue cave. Okay, so uh, Mark, educate me. Right? Uh, I have a PLDT fiber at home mm-hmm. and uh, they provided me with uh, the router. router. Yeah. What's the ideal setup if I have also this? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so basically, you're not gonna put your one connection on here. So this will be your secondary node, kasi. Okay. So what will happen is that the ideal uh, setup would be you get the ROG Rapture, for example, if you already have it. Mm -hmm. Then you connect your internet connection, your ISP provider, through it. And since it's PLDT, kasi you cannot like. Uh, modify the contents the of content your router. Right, so you right. need to call them, oi, pa bridge mode mm. tayo sa router namin. Mm. So wala masyadong conflicting issues with the IP address. Correct. So magiging uh, main IP address muna would be coming from the ROG Rapture. Then after that, um, since uh, we just recently implemented AI Mesh on the Blue Cave, mm -hmm. you need to download the fir firmware from it. So mm. connect ka muna dito, the, the default IP address of this uh, router. Then from there, you just download the um, firmware update mm -hmm. and voila, you already have AI Mesh. So uh, what will happen then kasi is once you go back to your uh, main node, uh, you Which have... Which is in my case with the Rapture. Yeah, so the Rapture router, there is going to be a button on the top right corner, uh, the AI Mesh feature. So Ooh. once you press that, magahanap siya ng available nodes in the area. Um, mm -hmm. Sana itatabi niyo yung other uh, node niyo okay. dun sa main uh, node. For the meantime. No? For the meantime. So for, before, when you set it up, it has to be at least very yeah, near. Very near to okay, it. Okay. So yung pag sync nila is faster. Okay. Um, then from there, after it syncs, you could now move your node to okay. somewhere near, somewhere you have least amount of Wi-Fi okay. signal. Okay. Got it. Got and it. also the b good thing about AI Mesh kasi is that um, once you go to an area dun, fr away from your main node mm -hmm. pag na-detect niya na ah, no, wala na ako ng signal it automatically transfers you to the next node mm -hmm. which has the stronger Wi-Fi signal okay. it's seamless seamless so pag okay. nag-video call ka siguro magda-drop ng red saglit lang and then connects to connects again. Exactly. so for example after setting things up I, I have my PLDT here for example mm -hmm. and then it's connected to my mm -hmm. my Rapture mm -hmm. and Assuming na paired na yung Rapture and also the Blue Cave, mm -hmm. and I place the Blue Cave inside my room, mm -hmm. okay? Once I go out, it ought, it seamlessly connects to it. Yes. Uh, as if nothing happened. Yes, uh, exactly. Of course, there will be a bit of drop kasi nga nag switch oh, siya. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think that's, I, I can see now no, the value that oh, you're saying yeah. of the mesh feature. Mas seamless siya compared to not having one. Yeah. You know? Yes. I see. Uh, interesting. Right. So, basically, how. Uh, I think the one of the biggest issues with with I guess any router would be walls. Yeah. Uh, basically, when you have a house with so so many rooms, mm -hmm. and that means you have many walls. So so how does it? Uh, how how does this? Uh, what's basically the, the this the strategy that this uh, the blue cave mm -hmm. uh, implements to basically? get through those uh, obstacles. Mm. Yeah. So, the Blue Cave has five internal antennas. Mm -hmm. So, four of them are vertical. And, uh, if you guys do not know, pag vertical kasi yung antenna mo is yung bato ng signal is pag anon. Okay. Pa horizontal. Oh, okay. And pag nakahiga siya is pa taas siya. Ah. So, okay. okay. pag ano. So, um, so, that's, that's how it was implemented. So, if you have four, uh, four diagonal, sorry, mm. for horizontal, mm. so, yung bato ng signal niya is malakas pag ganito but that doesn't mean na mahina naman yung bato yeah. o vertical right, right, right. so that's how we implement or that's how mm. we break through walls mm. Mm. is uh, we implemented four antennas okay. na pag ganun yung bato ng signal so it's really strong for one floor mm. and makakaabot pa rin naman siya on the next floor or mm. the floor below mm. it so I guess yeah uh, so if I have like say a three story house mm. uh, what would you say is like how how many of these would, would I need to, to uh -huh. get? Because uh, some people might say, uh, maybe I just need one, mm -hmm. maybe I, need, I need two. So how about if I have, uh, is there like a standard uh, package that you mm -hmm. offer that, you know, ha how, how many of these do I need mm -hmm. for, for, uh, for yeah. yeah, for say a three-story house or a two-story house? Okay. So, so Eman has um, what, six-story house? Okay. Possible. Oh, eight, eight, actually. Eight, eight, eight. 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 All right. So, um, going back on mm -hmm. the blue cave, pala, I wasn't able to mention earlier is that this is built also for smart home. Smart this can homes. be integrated with Amazon Alexa. So, um, you could probably do with the IFTTT guys. So, mm -hmm. if you do not know IFTTT, it stands for if this then, then that. that. Okay. So, I guess you could put this 
the ideal implementation pala of AMS if you have three floors is that mm-hmm. kung pwede, yung, kung if you are into a budget uh, scenario, you could do away with two routers, pero as much as possible if you have three floors mm. and lots of rooms to go mm. for three nodes. Three oh, nodes. Yeah, right. three nodes. So um, you could put Blue Cave, Blue Cave right. on the first floor. So you could command this Blue Cave router. You could command it through IFTTT that once you connect to this router, uh, automatic na magbubukas yung ilaw mo sa second right. floor, uh, third yeah. floor, okay. And say, so uh, you're you, uh, gonna have a smart home. Yes, and uh, if you have Wacon, of course, all yeah. of the computers yeah. nowadays have the Wacon LAN feature yes. na once you connect to this router, bam, okay. mag on your computer. No. Yeah. So this is on the first floor. Then on the second floor, you could probably put your an- uh, another secondary node or you could put your main node in here. Uh, mm. sa, as an example, is uh, G and sa ROG Rapture mm. na sa second floor. Siya. And on the third floor, you could probably do away with, say, the AC86U. Because okay. that's the most value oriented router mm. that we have that has AI mesh. Okay. So that means for that router, that router is connected to the Rapture, technically. Yes. So yes. since that is our basically our main node. Okay, so. Oh, cool. And another cool. Uh, thing pala with our AI mesh is that. Um, we have some scenarios din kasi. You have the star topology and you have the... Um, well, I, I'll call it the piggyback na lang. Mm-hmm. Since uh, I'm going to explain the piggyback muna is that you have the main node, for example, the ROG mm-hmm. Rapture. Then you have the secondary node, yeah. which would be, say, uh, the Blue Cave. Then, for example, hindi abot ng third node mo yung main router mo or main yeah. node right, mo. Right. So it's going to piggyback on the second ah, AI mesh yeah. node. Nice. Then okay. the star topology implementation naman is that you have the piggyback mode and as well as you have the fourth and the fifth nodes connected to it. Oh. Yun na yung pambahay ni Eman. If it's like, oh, eight, eight, and like eight floors. And, yeah, and, and, it, and it does all that without user intervention? No. Nothing. Wow. So once you've set everything up, that's it. Okay, that's then. it. Just leave Bingo it. bango, AI mesh, okay. you, have, you have mesh. Done. System. Yeah, but I have, I have another um, question. Yeah, go ahead. Because... Some people, you know, watching this might probably go, Hey, I have five routers at home. Mm-hmm. So I buy this. Can I... Is it required that all of my routers that I'm going to be using as nodes have the AI mesh? Yes. Um, if you need to um, see what routers we have that has mm-hmm. AI mesh, we have lots mm-hmm. of routers that mm-hmm. is supporting it right now. Okay. Um, you head over to our website mm-hmm. to get the complete Because mm-hmm. yeah. I, 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 I'm thinking that some people might just go, Wait, go, go, go and oh, buy yeah. a router uh-huh. now. Uh-huh. Mama, right. ah, I'm going to buy, yeah, I'm gonna buy this routers. and I'm going to buy two of those cheap routers uh-huh. that I see. So that might work. Mm-hmm. So, so be so sure. The thing is, yeah. the thing is, be sure. It's required that all of your nodes will be support compatible AI mesh. support uh, will support mm-hmm. AI mesh yeah okay. so AI mesh compatible has to be ASUS because mm-hmm. AI mesh is basically ASUS right number so, one number one so yeah, no, <laughs> it's important guys uh, don't just simply go ahead and buy, buy yourself buy a router. cheapo router <laughs> yeah. out there it has to be compatible with ASUS AI mesh and all you have to do is to check out their website to know all the brands oh all, all the, the models, models yes. that are compatible with, with AI, uh, AI mesh. mesh. Well, Mark, we learned a lot. No? Uh, oh, we learned about yeah. Blue Cave. We learned about uh, AI mesh. Mm-hmm. And it's also compatibility with the IFTTT yes. connected to uh, Amazon Alexa. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, price of this one is now down below. You can also check it out on the description if you want to know more about the Asus Blue Cave. All right. So thank you guys for inviting me over at Gadget Pilipinas HQ. Yes. Um, first time I'm makita ng ganitong room. Wow, it's really good, man. Hindi ko na bait magulo na kaya. Wakad na fuwa. So ayan, again, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for inviting me. And hopefully, you guys go ahead and check out our Blue Cave. And of course, our AI mesh. All right. So again, this has been Gian and Eman and Mark from Asus. Yep. See you guys soon. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>